More fallout from the province's housing legislation today and its impact on municipalities straight from the top here at Toronto City Hall with Mayor John Tory continuing his warnings about the future, all while talking about the city's budget shortfall as well. If these discussions cease to be productive, we will ramp up our campaign against this legislation. The way I just put it in discussions in my office, uh, I have put the weapons down, I have not put them away. Fighting words, no doubt, from Toronto's Mayor John Tory, aimed directly at the Ford government after the province's new housing legislation, Bill 23, passed on Monday. New estimates show Toronto could lose more than $2 billion over the next decade if development fees used to pay for new infrastructure are lost. If the Ontario government wants to discount or eliminate development charges to benefit developers, they should underwrite the cost and not place that burden on cities uh, and jeopardize, jeopardize needed infrastructure. Other mayors across the province have also warned about the impact of Bill 23 on city finances if more housing is built without support. Tory says he expects that Queen's Park will reimburse any lost revenue while the province wants to launch a third-party audit of the city's finances first. They have said, and I give them marks for this, that they will discuss with us alternate means of raising that money. And so I'll be most interested to hear and see what it is they're, they're prepared to, to do um, to help us with that. And, and uh, that, I think, is a step forward that they've even acknowledged they would have such discussions. In addition, a new report pegs Toronto's overall budget shortfall for this year to be $703 million. Tory did receive a letter from the Minister of Municipal Affairs, Steve Clark, today, promising the province will cover one-third of that amount. His attention now turns to the federal government to see how much it is willing to offer for what is considered a shortfall related to COVID expenses. Tory also suggesting other ways that the province could help the city save money or perhaps provide even more, suggesting different revenue tools that could be brought to the table, even uploading the Don Valley Parkway or Gardner Expressway to the province for their responsibility, saying 50% of those using those roads don't actually live in the city. Mark McAllister, City News.